Hey, this is Archie and welcome to a new video. Today, we are going to talk about how to automatically hide the bad comments from your Facebook and Instagram ads. But before I go into the how-to, let's first understand why this is so crucial and how to differentiate the bad comments from the comments where people are telling you directly how you could improve your website. So they are giving you some kind of critiques because there is a big difference between these two types of comments. So to differentiate this better, you have to understand how people are expressing their ideas onto those comments. So the ones that they are trying to give you some kind of critiques, some kind of meaningful critiques, you will see that they have this positive kind of vibes, but they are trying to help you out with improving improving your offer, your website, and your ads pretty much. So you want to pay attention to that because those kind of comments, they are the best data points that you could utilize to improve those aspects and ultimately to increase your sales and your return on spend. Now, the bad comments on the other hand, they are the nasty one. They are usually from people that actually they are not even your customers. Yeah, you might, you know, target your ideal customer. However, you can still kind of show your ads to people people that they are not that like friendly when it comes to the ads, when it comes to being advertised, when it comes to kind of telling them what kind of products to buy. Even though your product might be a solution to them, but they just in their human nature, they just don't like ads. That's why they can be nasty. They can tell like very bad comments. So you don't have much control of that. You just have to kind of admit that your business, your products are not for everyone. That is why it's important to kind of utilize what I am just about to show you so that you could hide your comments, those bad comments and have a better good impression to the people that are qualified, to potential customers who are interested in your products. Because you have to understand that people do judge Cover Bytes book. They look at the first impression of your brand, they look at your logo, they look at how you position your brand, they look at your ads, they look at your website, including they also look at your comments. And if they see that, you know, some trolls and some people they are using, they are writing some negative comments, that is going to decrease your conversion rate, but it's going to decrease the trust in that potential customer. So let's make sure that, you know, we prevent that by kind of hiding these comments. Now, let me show you how actually you can do that. So to do that, first of all, I want you to pull up your Facebook business page. So not your personal page, but your Facebook business page. And make sure that you are logging in from your personal page. Because if you join from your business page, I don't think that you could find like the page settings. So the moment when you log into your business page, now you want to look at the left side and click here where it says settings. So you want to make sure that here you are at the general section and find something that says content moderation. So they say no words are being blocked from the page because at this moment, I have not included any kind of words or phrases that Facebook will block those instantly. So you wanna click here on edit. And now here you need to add the words, the phrases or some kind of emojis that you want to block in instantly from the moment when someone published or commented on your Facebook posts, on your Instagram posts, or on your ads as well. So let me put just a few examples here and let's say cheap and then the moment when you added one word, make sure that you click here on add and when you go on and on and on. So let's say bad, ugly, right? So whatever, stupid, naughty. So you pretty much got the idea. You want to kind of put all of these words that you want to block instantly. Now, it's much easier to do that when you've already kind of seen some kind of comments that people are using quite like a lot. So those words, you definitely know that you can block them instantly. However, if you don't know, then you just need, you know, to think about the brainstorm and you know, kind of think in your brain what kind of words these people might be using for your products. Because for every single brand, these kind of words, they can be different from, you know, other businesses because every single business is different. So after adding those words, you'll click here on save. So these changes, they are already applied. And the next thing that I want you also to do is click here where it says preventative filter, click on add it. 
and then you want to like toggle this on and click save changes. This is pretty much we double check and we make sure that you know all these profanity words they will be blocked instantly. It's just one more step to make sure that all these bad comments will they will be hide automatically. So with all these changes in place you don't need to worry about it going manually and hiding these comments because everything is going to be automated so you can have more time on working on the things that you have control over and they are helping you to move a needle and to increase your sales and your return spend and the overall sales of your brand. Now this video was pretty short but I believe it was quite helpful for you and for your brand. However, if you are getting too many bad comments on your Facebook ads, on your Instagram ads, then this technique that I just showed you is not the way to kind of prevent you from not getting sales because the problem is most likely it can happen with the other aspects of your business. Maybe they don't like your product, maybe they don't like your ads, maybe they don't like your website. So you wanna look at the both comments and understand what is happening, what you have to work on. However, from my experience, what I've noticed is that the problem is you are pretty much not targeting the right audience, you are, where you are targeting in the wrong way. And that is why I have a video over here where I talk about how to target the right way your ideal customer. And it's not what you think. So click on this video and I will talk to you soon.